Hello, welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, I will talk about how to use the keychain object. This is the object have the method to link the same root file because sometimes uh, your file was uh, very very large. Typically, the default uh, setup is 100 gigabyte. But sometimes your data may be uh, two terabyte, so so you will have a one root file but several as several file here. Uh, in this example, I will use a different method to demonstrate um, how to use TChain because I don't want to create a really really big file. So uh, instead of uh, create a bunch of file, I would. Uh, set the maximum tree size very small so when I write out it would be uh, several tiny files there so it would the naming system would be like uh, the tiny uh, the root is the first the root file I set out here and if it's exceeding limit here by hundreds suppose it will go on to next one tiny uh, uh, underscore one and tiny underscore two, etc. Here, so then I will create a bunch of files here, and I will use the uh, uh, teaching object to link all up the uh, the smaller thing here. So let's start it. So step one. So in order to create the same identical root file, uh, I I need to create a uh, a container for the root the, the tree file here so here I use a pointer here and I call uh, like I use the uh, tiny dot root and we will create this file here and this is very important to declare here because that you need to have a container first uh, to store the tree otherwise it would uh, you will won't have the split, the like uh, underscore one underscore two. So you have to declare first. All right. So we put the tree in there. So now the tree object, when you use the right nester, he will write into the tiny dot root here. Uh, then we use the method like set maximum tree size you can see the the default is this number here this number is corresponding to a very very large uh, gigabyte is 100 gigabyte now I just want to have 500 bytes still alright hit enter now now I just uh, want to create something there so uh, I typically I use a very very simple example like uh, the story you have three brothers and you you might give the three brothers um, money so you want to uh, create a tree that's um, that's just like uh, the first week how many money uh, brother A have and how many money how much money brother B have such that that so you create the variable here then you create a tree uh, the branch of the tree and link to the variable here like MA is stand for money A branch here alright so uh, I think you are very familiar with this so I go very quickly so then I I just randomly fill some data here and then we observe what we behave here so it's a loop here and it's uh, the size will be the looping time will be 500 times 100 here and the data here just uh, it's not make many sense just fill in something alright so let's use uh, for loop to fill and type enter and you see something very interesting here so fill when the fill uh, the tree fill in you know, a data intro tree you see the sound limit here, here it was split into a more and more and more uh, tiny data here like a underscore one underscore two here so let's uh, uh, take a look what the original file 
here when you, you type app it's gone because now uh, what inside you type dot ls you can see what ha you have here is the chain file it's not the t file again uh, anymore sorry so it changed so your app actually s just disappear so you don't have the uh, you don't have to use F to close it because it just disappear here so the, we already fill in uh, and you can use this method right to write into the chain file so you can that uh, exclamation that means I want to use the shell not in the root okay so type ls main list okay so you give something like this or you can type in some option like dash l is longness uh, t is time in a time order r is to reverse h means human readable so you can see here uh, the file look like here this was just created very recently so it's split by this way here with identical size on root okay so that this is st step one we create a size that's right out and um, we fill randomly some variable and to fill a tree all right so if you uh by the way if you don't want to use dot l that sorry dot exclamation l as this one uh, I mean you want to write into like a script or like some class or function you can use uh, uh, a global pointer g root global pointer here and use the method in the global pointer like a, a process line then this is string the same string here so you can have the same effect alright so the next one is how to use the tchain. So tchain work uh, like a, a t tree class because it's inherited. So to use it, we declare a tchain object like we just type in chain here. So the uh, constructor, you have this option here. So we type in T here because that our uh, tree is named by T here. So we type in T. All right. So now we next step is to use the uh, add member function to add the file we want. To, uh, we want to connect together like tiny uh, the root okay so uh, in order to see it you, right now we just add one file you can see chain print all right uh, this would be easier to see okay so we have just one file there so you just print here so if we add more like a dash one it just prints again so we have here and here, okay? So it's work pretty similar. So let's just add one more. All right. So as I said, it is simply the T chain object is fairly similar to the T tree up there object here. So you can have print, the scan, drill, or get entries, whatever. All the similar thing. So again, you can see this uh, branch as M A M E M C. We just set up there, here. It's all the same. So uh, you can do something like a scan. It's just as uh, we play that in a tree. You can say the money A, money A here, money B here, money C here. The leaf. A, B, B. Okay, let's see what happens. So you get a lot of bunch of stuff here. Okay, 
So let's say uh, okay. Uh, there's some more thing because they are all the same here. Maybe let's, let's try something different. Mm, let's start from. Nah, 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 nah. Maybe. Okay, zero. All right. So the entrance here. So if you remember right, one is one simple tray is just a seven nine a three. So if we start from the nine 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 means that in the I think it is probably in the, the final uh uh sorry in the second one here. Okay, so now you know how to use it. So also you can have sorry, let me go here. Uh chain that get entries that will be return all the entries here. So it's two, three, nine, four, nine entry. How many entries in this chain here? And also you can use draw very similar thing. Let's just see what happened. So you got, you know, because this is all uh, 10 here, so you build up this histogram here. So I think you got an idea uh, about how to use the T-chain. You just add up the same root file, then you use create a T-chain object, and you use add method, and what else is just the similar analysis process for the T root file. Okay, sorry, T3 file. Thank you very much for watching it.